All right, folks, the deck is Knuckles OTK Hunter. This is one of my favorite decks of all time, and the goal is to reduce the cost of Knuckles with Scarlet Web Weaver, then use a variety of spells to buff the Knuckles and give it additional attack. So in this deck, we have Fresh Scent, Goblin's Prank to give Knuckles Rush, Grim Crescent to get an additional attack on top of that, sending a whole lot of damage to the opponent's face in the process. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Raffle. Watch this! Priest is probably not the matchup we're looking for. I don't want any of these. I want to find uh, scavengers and tracking. All right, that's okay. Again, I'd rather have the uh, I'd rather have this be a web weaver than a knuckles. But what are you gonna do? Probably just throw this out there. Is someone injured? Nope. I play this. <laughs> uh, and I consider ignoring the cleric completely. I could uh, play an animal companion next turn, but. All minions take double damage from spells. This seems like a spell to me. I don't think I can take three repetitive damage every turn until I get to the combo turn. Oh. Let the pain speak to sure, I'll play this. And hope it's not the one out of three that uh, farms draws. Magnificent beast. Yeah, that one. We have the kill on seven, so I just ignore that. Not because I don't care about draws anymore, but because um, I want dirty rat protection and I don't want the acolyte cleared. Mind if I roll need? Jeez, this is so much damage. But they're probably just. Uh, Killing off their own minions here. At least the loot order. It's a lot of damage, but uh, I need more minions. I have three attacks, so I only need to get this to ten. It would be this, six, nine, nice, ten. Yeah, we have it once there are three minions. Why does he have so much draw? Because that's what you want in uh, Reno Priest. That was really close. Good thing I held on to that scientist. Can I get this to 15? 9, 2, 4, I can only get it to 13, which isn't quite enough. Don't be explosive. Oh. I'm going to need to at least play Raza soon. Should be enough now, right? Easy. Uh, Warlocks with Void Lords are the dream matchup. I'm gonna look for uh, scavengers and hope that it's not like Dark Glare or Disco Warlock. Luckily, we can't track over both base. Yeah, I mean, that's not really a huge concern. It's more that like drawing this is pretty good because it makes our scavengers' ingenuity more consistently hit the, uh, the knuckles. Yep. 
was the third beast in the Master's Call version? It was uh, Subject 9 to a thinner deck with secrets. That's fantastic news. I just ignore minions for the most part. Um, I, I can just follow my curve, but as long as they don't like spike a, a big um, Malganus, we should be able to win this pretty easily. I want to play this just so that I can get this online. So That's probably dying, but... It's net positive in terms of uh, damage dealt. Just gonna go here and hero power, then I go here and hero power next turn. And I've got the web weaver. I just need to find um, some of the buffs and extra attacks now. The so things like True Aim Crescent and. Uh, the Beast Within, and, uh... Sure. Again, I'm not terribly concerned about um, Void Lords, right? They're actually to my benefit. Even uh, Dread Lords aren't the end of the world. That certainly isn't a big deal. I am scared of Dirty Rat, but... Not a whole lot I can do about that, other than hope they don't have it. Looks like Reno, though. Sure. I'm assuming they don't have Rat if they played the Corrupting Mist first. Does this deck run Rat? Uh, Reno Priest? Or Reno Warlock? Definitely. Yeah. Why wouldn't it? Why did they trade when... You're dead? Seven. You should be dead, right? Because this goes face with the unleash. Easy. Hey, GG turn. I think I pitch this away. I want it later. And I keep this into a potentially even shaman. Kraken is much better on one. No risk if you killed the gibber, though. And I wanted the gibber on the board so that I could get lethal. So I could, Because that was giving me additional attacks with the knuckles. That's what set up the lethal. I didn't die with just a single gibber on the board. I still think it was the correct play versus aggro. You need to survive, not OTK. What what killed me, though? Like, what two cards killed me in that spot? Job done. I'm going to play the Wandering first. Unfortunately, the Unleash doesn't do a whole lot. Um, and honestly, maybe leaving up totems is just fine for us. Charge forward. Knuckles' effect is a better version of the Ilganoth effect, changed my mind. I mean, it's completely different. But it seems as though your mind is made up, I guess. I don't know. Look at the value, chat. Got a thick knuckles. I'm just a little bit concerned if about. Um, well, I don't need to be concerned about uh, dirty rat anymore, right? Right. I want to just use this to buff the knuckles next turn. Job's done. That might have been the best Warsong Commander since uh, it was nerfed, and uh, it was pretty terrible, so. <laughs> Just want to get chip damage through. I don't really care that much about clearing things, but I want to use my mana where I can, and um, 
This does 13. So. Need to keep that in mind. If I get a beast within or a true aim present, I can kill on 8, even without the web weaver. It's not what we need. I'm just going to telegraph the explosive, it's fine. I mean, we might just have lethal um, on 9, but much more fun to uh, to get the extra knuckles attacks. Nice. Actually, that sets up uh, frequent lethal. It's Geppetto, it's lethal. No! Okay. All right then. This does uh, 15, 17. We're gonna be rich. I just ignore that. But I do have lethal with uh, as soon as I get an extra attack, right? Because I can do 30 damage pretty easily. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Got him. The forest fights back. For the horde. I'm just going hard on the uh, um, aggro druid assumption here. Wandering monster isn't quite as good as explosive, but it's still fine. And we got the companion back. Yay! <laughs> Wham Bamboozler, thank you for the 100 bits. Happy holidays, Raffle. I know, I must know what we, what was we little Raffle like on Christmas? Were you like a whirling dervish or a proper unwrapper? Um, hard to remember. I think I was like, I wasn't like very wild in general, so I was pretty slow and measured uh, present opener. We took turns in my family, so. I would pass out the gifts and um, everybody would open them in turn. That does not seem like the one you want to attack with. Money, Raffle not wild, but playing wild seems sus. Uh oh, my secret has been revealed. Um, I can clear most of the board with this. Is that better than the honk? Like, yeah. You can clear all but one minion. And retain one minion. If they want a value trade there, I'm just fine with it. I can get this next turn and maybe use this to trade more evenly. I don't care about their um, lifesteal or the health total so much as just like, can I remove these minions? If that goes here, I am happy. I'm killing this one no matter what. Let's go here first, see what we get. Yep. What a magnificent beast. No time. Still want to kill that one to um these still challenge, and I just don't want to um let them make more minions here. Wait, they have patches in hand? Oh, that can't feel good. Even up the lifesteal? What is, they're at 31 health, why does lifesteal matter? Health total is completely irrelevant at this stage in the game. So yeah, life steal doesn't matter. Oh, 
Mage is also a huge bummer. Feels bad. This is what I get for actually climbing, I guess. We won against big, that's something. We didn't get to combo though, so it's not really a win. I don't want to give up the Turin Crescent, but this is probably too important for dealing with a nice flock. This deck is just not good. Okay. You solved the problem. <laughs> it's too bad, too, because I was under the impression that this is a top tier deck, but fortunately, Twitch Shed is here for me. Hmm. I don't want to play this yet because it looks like I. I need to save it for the combo turn to break the ice block. I don't want to give them an opportunity to play a second ice block somewhere. Is this Mill Mage? No, it's probably some sort of uh, OTK. And end your turn. There you go. Sucks that Counterspell counters Quest Mage. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about that this game. You think Ice Block should be in every Mage deck? Uh, probably shouldn't be an even Mage. I just needed to get rid of a card there. I have enough buffs stuff that when the um, Knuckles does come out, it shouldn't make that big of a difference. It's Flame Ward and um, Flame Ward and Ice Block, but I'm not. I can't use the Flare here. Otherwise, we, we've seen a duplicate already, so we know there's a second Ice Block. Ruffle, do you have a witty answer for this question? No, that's like the one question that I, I can't respond to quickly, unfortunately. Can the player get counterspelled? Yes. Yes, it can. But um, I don't think this opponent's running a counterspell in their deck. So, the good news. Hopefully, they're also not running a uh, Dirty Rat. Hopefully, they also eventually play at least one minion. <laughs> Otherwise, that would be pretty unfortunate for me. No, I don't want the uh, Jane. Oh, that was so bad. Sorry. Right. Maybe he has no minion? I mean, he's already played two. I think it's safe to assume that there are um, then we additional copies of uh, either of those. I think we just lose before we get to uh, attack, though. Cat trick is okay because it might get a chance to sneak in for a kill. Someday I'll be just like nope, we lose. Oh, wait. No, snipe uh, blocks their combo. My brain is gigantic. Now the opponent's dead. Cat Hunter now. Rogue, where are the Paladins? I feel like we're equipped to deal with Paladins, but we haven't queued into one. 
I think I keep this in case of early game pirates. The pleasure is mine. Greetings. All right. Not sure what type of rogue this is, but it's not odd. Ingenuity is probably my best draw, but I'm always playing the companion next turn, I think. Monkey! That's a thematic hit. Mill? I mean, I hope so. But yes, that's what I'm playing around right now. Bonker! I probably should have punched there. But if it's mill, they draw me into my knuckles, and um, that's great for me. Okay. Kraken is fine. This is four damage deal six. This is four damage deal four. So I think the scrap shot is better. Could also just grab this and play it. I don't think I need a full 30 damage this game. This allows me to get a card out of hand when we've got a pretty good read that it's Reno, or not Reno, Mill. So I'm gonna do this instead. Four damage deal six, sounds OP. Yeah, fortunately, they didn't do anything crazy like give it to the mage class or anything. What is your deck, friend? I need you to play more cards so I have more information about what you're trying to do. Okay, that kind of suggests it's mill, right? Okay, I just want to draw the knuckles ASAP as possible and then reduce its cost with the web weaver. Um, I don't think I'm concerned about secrets here. I just want to cycle a card. Definitely worth. Uh, I don't want to give up the Trim Crescent, so I'm just going to grab this. And then play it. Doesn't it reveal a stealth hero? No, that's uh, not what the card says. Oh, it could be Mally Goose. Okay. That's a big problem. We're gonna have a hard time winning here. Problem with Mill is it might not play minions until the end. That's uh typically Mill runs the taunts and is off. You know what? This is actually a beast. I've got a fair amount of damage on the board already. What am I doing? I can't do that. But I want to do that. Um I don't think there's enough damage to kill us from a Mally Goose. No! No, don't kill it. <laughs> Leave it. Leave the monkey alone. He's a good boy. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're definitely Mally Goose. Return to monkey chat. No, no more mages. Go away. You asked for it. For the horde. This isn't a bad opener, at least. need to try and combo quickly if I can. Random into random? That's typically not how mage plays in wild. The 
problem with Mage and Wild is that it's so incredibly uh, consistent, which is the opposite of random into random. I probably need this. I can get enough uh, attacks with the Beast Within, I think. I just need a flare to deal with Ice Block. damage where we can because I'm not likely to be able to spike a big uh, combo turn what's he playing uh, opponent's probably playing some sort of exodia combo if I had to guess I think I'd just leave that stealth it's bad into blizzard but I don't see a whole lot of benefit to, then we fight. like, proccing the flame ward here. Because I can just buff up the, uh, the cat if it survives and use the, uh, the flare to get a kill. Just go back to playing normally, I suppose. What magnificent that beast! Mean a turn to get ready. Not honker, I know. You require my assistance. Dupe. I quite honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Didn't really want to buff that again, but now it's a 10 10, so that's cool. Maybe they still have like Mizaki in there. At this point, I think I just make a 10 10. I don't need um, I full value uh, of the knuckles, do I? Not if I hero power. Should probably be punching face with the weapon, though. But we're well beyond, like, the mana requirement for uh, getting knuckles damage. Finally, you got the honker. Oh, it's flame ward though. <laughs> nope, it's not. It's ice block. Then we fight. Just use my mana now. Set up for a lethal next turn. It would have conceded by now. There must be another win condition. That's what I'm thinking. But it still makes the uh, Antonine display kind of weird, right? Top deck knuckles. Oh wait, that should be enough for lethal. Nice, it is. Honker saves the day, it's true. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, Brokey, Dope Guy, Fizzle Jizzix, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Molly Mock, Neofay, Shadow1TV, Zognisman, and Vanfix.